Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be talking about rails, especially the ones that uh, you shouldn't order. <laughs> so I went ahead and ordered these rails that I plan to use on the gantry. But one of the things about these rails is that the rod is steel rod and it's very heavy. The aluminum profile is not heavy, but uh, it holds the rod. So I could order the smaller uh, rod, which this one is, I think is a 20 millimeter and I could order the 10 millimeter, but I uh, made a mistake and ordered four rails for a hundred bucks. And these rails are excellent to put on top of your stationary machine because the, the ganter don't have to carry, or the motors don't have to carry the weight of them. So instead, what I've seen in several, in several designs of a CNC design is they got the flat rails and those are lighter. Although the, uh, the, the rail profile are still, or is still like this one is, uh, I think it's lighter. So I went ahead and placed an order for the uh, the flat rails that I'm going to use on the gantry, and I went ahead and ordered the uh, 10 millimeter, uh, 15 millimeter ones, and 38 inches, and also uh, 15 inches for the Z axis. So be careful when you order rails because you know these are kind of heavy. So for the gantry itself, flat rails probably work better. Now, these rails that I order, I don't want to return them because I had to pay for the shipping and they're kind of heavy. So I imagine the shipping is going to be a lot. So I'll just keep this for all the projects. Uh, and I'm thinking that I'm going to use them for the uh, CNC lathe that I'm, or the uh, CNC rotary axis, but actually it's going to be a standalone machine and I'll use the rails for the, uh, you know, so the router can travel on the x-axis and z-axis. The y-axis is going to be the rotary axis. So uh, I'll work on that project as soon as I get the uh, CNC built again, so I can fabricate pieces for that other project. So yes, uh, I think I got carried away and I didn't realize how heavy these uh, rails were going to be. So in the past I've been using the aluminum profiles and these were actually for the uh, base and I had uh, the other ones for the ganter but these uh, are very light and the thing is uh, it requires a big groove bearing but the profile doesn't have a B, it's, it's, it's flat, so when it starts rolling on it, it starts uh, uh, extruding the material and it gets loose, right? It, it's not precise, or it is precise up to a point, but then it gets loose on the, uh, on the tracks and then you have to adjust it and you know, you have to keep doing that until I guess it strews the whole thing, but it's not going to be a machine extrusion, right? It's, it's going to be uneven. So with these kind of rails or the flat rails, that's not a problem because, you know, these are professional ones. So, I mean, it got me through the first uh, CNC, which I follow uh, the sign of uh, Dave Gutton to make my first uh, CNC and then then I just follow my own path I think so this is one of the things that I want to talk to you about now this let me show you part of the uh, design here that so as you can see here this is the fence and it's acting like a gantry right now so it's very smooth and easy to move around so I haven't start modifying this yet. So I kind of wanted to have all the materials and then start fabricating. But 
this is the smoothness of this kind of uh, linear rail. Now, uh, I'm not using any uh, plans to, to do this. I'm just uh, having ideas as I go. You know, the ideas come and uh, then you start thinking about uh, how it's going to work and when you start fabricating, then uh, it's not how it works. So, iteration, I guess. That's why you build something and if it doesn't work, you iterate and, and just, uh, you know, do it again or do it a better design and then it might work. So, that's how it's done, I guess. All right, everybody, so it's gonna be all for this video. If you like this kind of content, uh, please consider subscribing, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.